Well, from the company perspective, we were very excited about the course. We do not have formal sales training, so this would be a great benefit to our teams to have formal sales training by a professional. So from that perspective, we were quite enthusiastic and looking forward to the training. Overall, the training was very, very good. Very much on the page that the sequence of individual sessions spread over a period of time is a much improved way to create the capture of the information and establish some ongoing and regular checkpoints that the, the previous information was being used and that it created a mechanism for refreshment and reminder so that the course actually extended long past sitting in a room for one or two days would, would do. It was easier to absorb because there wasn't as much content every day. It was, as I said, easier to reflect on and uh, confirm that the prior course's actions were in place. And from that perspective, it was very positive. Um, I do think that the, the repetitiveness of the sessions uh, needs to include some of the follow-ups in a more structured way. We would tend to do it a little bit ad hoc. And I think it would be good to have a formal way of re reviewing the past material so that it is uh, clear exactly what people are remembering and how they're remembering it. We've seen some very strong early progress already. Um, we've got a lot more prospects. Our, our lead development activity is much better. We're much crisper in our elevator pitch and value proposition. We are really honing our BANT process. It's very easy to have preliminary or answers to a BANT set of questions. It's much harder to have good in-depth information behind each one of those particular topics. And one of the things that the training really did associated with the questions and the position of the person you're speaking to and the empathy and focusing on the customer success that the training led us through and taught us about was that we got much better, we've gotten much better at how BANT is handled inside the company. So our ability to uh, create uh, good opportunities is much improved just in the, the few weeks since the training has ended. Um, it is also very positive that we've gotten alignment around a common set of language and terms and steps uh, in the sales motion, and that has been very, uh, very positive. And um, I think it's very good that all of that has been shared across the organization so that it's uh, an understanding that that Everybody has the same expectation about what the sales motion includes and where you are in the sales stages and how that translates into the opportunity progressing from a lead into qualified into uh, a proposal into close. Probably obvious to many uh, entrepreneurs and smaller companies that don't have the benefit of a formal training program that there's very much to be gained by having a professional come in and give you and your team's structured sales training. So I would say that alone that is a, an obvious statement and, and one that people would all understand, but oftentimes you think you can get a little bit further without it and keep going a little bit longer without having to make that investment. And I would say, no, you want to do it right away. I think the other thing is, especially for the smaller firms and the entrepreneurs, I think it's very positive to have the reflection on the basic structures that, and the foundations that you want to have in place that you probably believe you have, but having an external party discuss it in the sales motion uh, terminology around marketing value propositions, you know, what is banned, what's qualified, when do you do a proposal, I think that's a very valuable benefit that the training can provide to every small organization, every company of any size, actually, because it causes that reflection. It causes you to ask, do we really have a strong value proposition? Do we really have 
a common elevator pitch that everybody is aligned around that people are using and that is actually around the right kind of framework, the right description and the way that it needs to be uh, communicated to uh, the individual that's the recipient of that elevator pitch. So I would suggest that many of us continue to believe that we are able to continue on in our status quo. And I would tell you that this is an investment you want to make as early as possible. Mm -hmm.